Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over uh, from this worksheet, MEAP Solving Equations Assignment. I'm going to go over number six because it's got fractions and it's got negatives that we're looking at, and sometimes if we're not careful, it can get a little hairy. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the question on here so that uh, it's a little clearer and you could see it more expanded and uh, it's better to work with. Okay, I'm going to use this marker because you can't really see that too well. So here we've got 6 and then you've got minus x plus 1 over 2. That's equal to x minus 1 over 10. Now, we've talked about the idea of lowest common denominators, right? So what is the lowest common denominator in this case here? We've got a 2 in the denominator and a 10 in the denominator. So we're going to use 10. So that is our LCD. It's 10. Now, why is 10 our LCD? Because 10 is the smallest number that both 2 and 10 go into. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to take that 10 and I'm going to multiply every single term by 10. All right. Okay. Now, what is a term? Anything that is separated by a plus, a minus, or an equals. All right. Now, here, this x plus 1 over 2 is one term. Why is that a term, even though there's an x plus 1 in the numerator? Because of the denominator, yeah, because that whole thing is a uh, divide by 2, which holds that together, all right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to reduce any fractions that I can. Now, is there a fraction here? No. So I don't need to, I don't, I don't reduce anything. I can just write that 10. And I'll do it in more steps than I need to, just so that you can see what's happening. And I'll do my reducings in blue so that you can see that as well. So here there's a fraction, right? 10 over 2. How do I reduce that? What am I left with? Five. Take a 2 out of the 10, and I'm left with a 5. So that gets written as minus 5, and then I'm going to leave the x plus 1 as is in the bracket. I'll expand it through later. So here, do I have a fraction that I could expand here? No. So I'm just going to write 10 times x. All right. And then here, do I have a fraction that I can reduce? I'm left with 1. So that's going to be 1 times 1. OK, so let's clean everything up, multiply through, use the distributive property. 60 minus, now remember, this negative 5 gets distributed through the bracket. So I have negative 5 times x is negative 5x minus 5, that equals 10x minus 1. Okay, good. Now I need to combine like terms. So. Which side do you want to move all the x's onto? Move it onto the left? Uh, to the right, to the right, to the left. You gotta, you gotta make a commitment here. You gotta decide and make a commitment. You wanna make it positive? To the left, to the left. Okay, you know what? Whatever. I'm gonna go to the left. Just, just because. So let's subtract 10x on both sides. Yeah, it might be more work. If you see that it's more efficient to go one way or the other, then do that. What does this 10x and this negative 10x make? Zero. So I'm going to make this into a zero. Plus 10x minus 10x equals zero. Okay? So I put a big zero on it and I'm crossing it out. So that's, that's how I'm going to cross it out with a big zero because it equals zero. All right? Now I've got my 60 and my 5 and my 1. Okay, so I'm moving my x's over here, so I have negative 15x. What about these other numbers? What do I do with them? Minus 60, I'm going to minus 60, 
And I'm going to add the 5, add 5. OK. So now over here, what does this make? 0. What does this make? 0. All right. And now I've got, I've got to combine them all here. So what is this equal? Negative 56. All right. So now I've got negative 15 x equals negative 56. How do I simplify this? Divide both sides by negative 15. OK, so that equals x on this side. Those cancel, right? It reduces to 1. And then over here, I've got a negative over a negative. Negative divided by negative equals positive. So I have positive. 56 over 15. Does that reduce? No. So if I can reduce the fraction, I'm going to reduce my fraction. Otherwise, that's your answer. Cool? All right.